hello and welcome to my channel solo Octane. today i want to show you how to download windows server 2008 r2 on oracle virtual box so just we open up and click here for open the virtual box and add as a new machine and just write the name of windows server 2008 Two zero zero eight and say create say create the virtual disk and it's okay and it start here okay and select the folder where you have the OS for the Windows Server two thousand eight. So I have on the desktop, so just search for, it's right here, ISO file, double click on that, start, and wait for a few minutes, so it's booting up the files for Windows Server 2008, and installation start, and click next install now and it shows here like the which one you want so we want a standard windows server 2008 installation click next and accept the license term so click next custom advanced so this is the new hard drive and installing the Windows Server and copying the files and it take a few minutes and start Almost installation is almost complete, and after installation, it's uh, restarting this computer, and VM box is ready for first time. So, this done, and this video is for just like the basic Windows Server setup. And my next video will be I'm adding this as a domain controller of this PC, and after adding a child domain to it. So this is just for the basic one and so it's just almost done and restarting the server so just waiting for that and you can use this VMware, it's very good, you can use anything on it and this operating system there is a one thing you can change to the 32 to 64 bit also if your uh, virtual box shows only 32 bits win uh, Windows 7 or Linux and any version so there is option you can change to the 34 to 64 bit operating system and this time I'll almost done now it's first time set up the PC and is it starting now and we have to change the pa password because we log into first time on this new machine so so after when we set up for first time using this machine as a password then need to change password and okay so I just change password so on. and here I change password password one and just click on that okay it's changed now and after when set up the desktop then we have to make sure 
time zone is match like your local time zone and plus your network so when we go here set a time zone so just check here it's a 232 here and daylight saving and I saw my is almost it's a November 3 so it's right here say September 8 so my time zone is correct here so it's okay and after we have to set up the network so we click here right click on the pro properties and IPv4 click here set up the static IP address so it's 192.168.1.100 tab is a class C so it's default gateway is 192.168.1.100 and DNS is should be 192 because we use in future for this system as a domain so 192 168.1.100 and it's okay so it's right here it's okay and it's already fine so this is good so it's connected go close here and after we have to change computer name so, uh, because the name generally is different so when you go here is like this way W is like different so you can put I can change to the solo so S A L O and it's okay it's, it's apply for settings so restart close this okay restart now so it's worked like as a real machine or computer when you install this one and it's all option available you can use as a as a PC so just click here ultra delete for that and put the password we change PS password one and just click on that and it's now working so everything here and here is the feature we have server manager is right here so here we see is everything is enabled here network is here and here we add the role in future for make a domain controller so and uh, normally there is a administrative tool here we can use as like add user and everything through from the computer management services all is here so we use in future for this feature so you can see here if you close here everything in the server you can see is like here so and change the name also so change this name here solo as a part of work group and the time is USA Canada time zone match and IP address is right here thank you for watching my video please if you like and subscribe my channel thank you